Today we're going to talk about comparing and ordering decimals. Comparing means seeing which one's bigger or which one's smaller. And ordering means ordering the decimals from least to greatest or maybe from greatest to least. So let's say we have these three decimals. Zero decimal three, zero decimal four one, and zero decimal three six. Well, in order to compare these, we should do one thing that's really important. We should write them vertically, up and down, and always line up the decimals. So I'm going to write them vertically. Zero decimal three, zero decimal four one, zero decimal three six. Now you'll see that I have lined up the decimals. That's really, really important. If I line up the decimals, everything else should make sense. So now that I have my decimals lined up and my numbers all written vertically, meaning up and down, it's easier to compare. I can see that in the ones place value, all these numbers have a zero. And then they all have a decimal. And in the tenths place value, the top number has a three, the middle number has a four, and the bottom number has a three. Well, it's easy to tell that a four is bigger than three. So this number here, 0 decimal 41, is the biggest. But what about the other two numbers? My top number has a ones decimal tenths place value number. The bottom has a ones decimal tenths hundredths place value. Hmm, that's tough because the top number and the bottom number have different place values. So what I need to do is create an equivalent or equal decimal so that my top one also has the ones, tenths, and hundredths place value. That way it will have one, two, three place values, just like the bottom number has one, two, three place values. So what can I put in this space right here, I can put a zero. And now I can compare. Since my top number and bottom number each have a zero in the ones and a three in the tenths, I look to the hundredths. The top number has a zero, the bottom number has a six, so which one's bigger? Zero decimal three six. And then the smallest is zero decimal three zero. So when I order them, I can write it like this. 0 decimal 4, 1 is greatest, then 0 decimal 3, 6, and then 0 decimal 3, 0. Awesome. Let's do another example. Here are three decimals we want to compare. 0 decimal 4, 0 decimal 3, 1, and 0 decimal 2, 9. Well, remember, the first thing I need to do is line up the decimals and rewrite my numbers vertically, meaning up and down. Zero decimal four, zero decimal three one, zero decimal two nine. Now that I have them written vertically and my decimals lined up, it's easy to compare. However, if we take a look, the two bottom numbers have ones, tenths, and hundredths. Ones, tenths, and hundredths. But the top number only has ones and tenths. So in order to compare them, we should make an equivalent decimal. So I should write something so I have hundredths in the top decimal as well. What should go in that blank space? A zero. Good. You're very smart. Now we can compare. Both or all three numbers have a zero in the ones, so we look to the next number. This one has a four in the tenths, 
This one has a 3, and this one has a 2. So which one's bigger? The top one. Now, between the second one and the bottom one, which one's bigger? Well, this one has a 3 in the tenths. This one has a 2. So this one's bigger, followed by this one. And that's how we compare and order decimals. Let's take a look at this chart. This chart shows microorganisms. That means organisms too small to be seen just with your eye. You need a special microscope to see these. They're so small. And here we have the length. So they're very small because they're measured in millimeters. So when we look at these different microorganisms, and if we want to compare, well, one thing we should do is we should always create equivalent decimals. That's really nice writing, Mr. Siemens. Why, thank you. So you'll notice that the top number has ones, tenths, hundredths. This one has ones, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. And this one has one tenths, hundredths, ones, tenths, hundreds, thousandths. So in order to make them equivalent, we should create equivalent decimals. So that means I'm going to make these two have thousandths. So I'm going to put a zero at the end. Now I can compare them because they all have ones, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths place value. Excellent. Well, let's take a look at the ones. Zero, 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 zero. So they're all equal with that. So now we have to look to the tenths. And the tardigrade has a one. The euglena has a one. The vorticella, which sounds kind of like some kind of pasta, but you don't want to eat that, has a one. And the paramecium also has a one, so they're equal. So now we have to look to the next place value, which is the hundredths to compare. The tardigrade has a five. Euglena has a three. Vorticella has a one. And paramecium has a two. So which one's bigger? This one. Yes, the tardigrade is the biggest. Followed by, well, Euglena has a three compared to the one in Vorticella and the two in Paramecium. So this is the next biggest. And then, which one's bigger out of Vorticella and Paramecium? It would be Paramecium because it has a two in the hundredths and Vorticella has just a one. And that's how we compare and order decimals. Create equivalent decimals, so they all have the same place values, and then compare the numbers in each place value, always starting with the big numbers on the left and moving towards the tenths, then the hundredths, then the thousandths on the right.